Hi, my name's Leona from Super Conscious Soul and this is your new solar moon eclipse in Aquarius reading for the 15th, 16th of February. So, and beyond, yeah? Now, with um, solar eclipses and lunar eclipses and stuff like that, they can last for up to six months. So, in this reading, right, we have underneath the deck, we have the Queen of Air. This is a very Aquarian energy. It's, a, it's an air sign, Aquarius, Libra or Gemini, yeah? But as she's come up for the Aquarius, she's asking us to look at what are we allowing in our space? What do we need to cut off? She's asking us to look at where do we need to place appropriate boundaries in our life, yeah? We're being called to look at and use our wisdom to know um, how to place these boundaries correctly so that we don't get hurt in the future or so that we're not overreacting to situations out of fear. Yeah, because the owl is very wise. She doesn't make reactions out of fear. It's more out of logic. It's out of reason. Yeah, she cuts people out of her life for a reason. She also talks about sacrifice. Yeah. She also talks about sacrifice in the sense that what are you prepared to give up, yeah? What are you willing to give up? Because in sacrificing what's no good for you, it will raise your energy, raise your vibration. She is a very nurturing, loving spirit, yeah? However, it's only if you cross certain boundaries that she feels the need to be reactive. But when these boundaries are placed in place, in a um, in a logical manner, in a reasonable manner, so that we don't allow things into our inner space. That's when we see the benefit of this card. That's when we put up boundaries so that things can fall away that need to fall away. So, in some senses, with the lovers card as well, we're being asked to make a decision. We're being asked to look at what it is that we're drawn to. We're being asked to look at it, what it is that we no longer feel drawn to, that that now repels us, that now um, is not where, where we are anymore. We're being called to look at ourselves, look at ourselves with a clarity, with a truth, with the Queen of Air, yeah? We're being called to look at our authenticity. We're being called to make a decision to say what drives us with the messenger of Earth. Where where are we putting that intention now? It could be saying that things are moving a little bit slowly, too slowly for us financially, or in terms of a business, or in terms of a growth in a situation. We're feeling like it's moving slow, but the energy of this eclipse is asking us to look at what it is that is drawing us to make decisions. It, we're asked to be evaluate, yeah? Because this is about talking about moving towards your goals slowly and steadily, one foot at a time. Loyalty, dedication, perseverance, um, success through sheer hard work, through force, yeah? We then have the two of wands, yeah? Now this is talking about purity. We're being called to ask... Where is the purity within our energy? Where do we want to put that energy, yeah? Two ones, where are we focusing it? We're being called to weigh up the pros and cons in a situation. We're being called to truly look at what we want in the future. And is this going to take us where we need to go? Is this energy compatible with where we need to go in the future? Because we have the clarifier for that as the page of water. Now the page of water is a very open energy. It's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But it's asking us, it's saying that when when we're around the right energy, when it's when it has that purity, yeah, we can then be more open, yeah, in how we give of ourselves. We can then make offers to the right people, allow them more into that inner circle of friendship where the, the emotions are stored, where we don't have to keep people at arm's length. Because next to that also, 
we have the Eight of Cups and stagnation. And this is where we're being called to cut off what is causing that stagnation. And that messenger of Earth could be moving slowly because of stagnation, because we're not following what we want to do. We're not allowing an independence because we have the Queen of Earth here. So the messenger of Earth would then move up to the Queen and then to the King. So we're moving up an energy and there's things that is holding us back in terms of our emotions, in terms of creating negative emotions. We're carrying around cups that are full of things that are dying or full of things that could poison us and could kill us, yeah? Rather than opening ourselves up to things that can bless us, things that can come in and purify so, next to that, we are being called to look at our higher selves. We are being called to have self-control. Self-control of the mind, self-control of the body, of what we want to do, of what, where we want to go, of where we want to put our energy. But it's also here, we have like this drumming circle, this sense of freedom in the body outside. So it's asking us to have inner self-control, use our higher selves to have inner self-control, but not restrict ourselves from having fun, not restrict ourselves from drumming, not restrict ourselves from dancing, not restrict ourselves from moving. Yeah, because that all brings in good energy. That brings in movement forward as well. That helps generate positive vibration and positive movement forward. So we then move on to the next row and we have the King of Earth now. So we're moving up again. Yeah, however, it comes with the Nine of Crystals, which talks about narrowness. It talks about confinement. Now we are being pushed to go through um certain obstacles certain challenges we are asked to push past our fears it's about finding a way through the blocks yeah and the way to do that is towards our goals towards our purpose towards the things that create stability for us yeah now we have the king of earth and the queen of air yeah so in the center of the reading we have the ten of fire so now this nine of crystals has become a ten. But in this card, we're learning how to balance it. We're learning how to juggle it. It's also about recycling of energy because we have the anger card or the four of cups. This is about recycling that anger, recycling that discontent that we have. It's about using it and juggling with it. It's about knowing that this is the last test perhaps and the only thing that can get in our way is perhaps our own discontent or our own anger yeah but that would only come if we're following the things that are going to cause stagnation that are going to block us the things that are stopping our freedom yeah so next to that we then have the moon card and the fall so this is talking about following signs. This is talking about following synchronicities. It's also good because we have this moon reading and here it is. We are being directed to take a leap of faith. Who knows what that journey is gonna bring? Who knows what it's gonna bring? However, if you're following your synchronicities, you're following your dreams, you're following your intuitions, then you will be on the right path. And hence, then we get this epiphany from our higher selves that's when we get this revelation we get this awakening we get this insight that makes us see that what opens up where we're going it could be a, something amazing that happens that just opens up the path and we realize that we've been called to do these steps for a reason so then we move on to the next row and we have the eight of fire this is talking about rapid things moving fast now this is talking about energy changes yeah it's talking about communication falling in love yeah it could be a new idea but we're being called to have courage with the seven of wands we're being called to stand in our power about what we're defending we're being called to, to brave, to face our fears, to um, confront things, to allow ourselves to move with the energy now that it's moving faster. 
We then have Ace of Air. This is victory. This is um, cutting through. There's a need to have communication. There's, it's like there's a breakthrough in communication with the Ace of Air. This is also um, Aquarius energy. And it's like we found this freedom as a unicorn. We found this freedom as this um, beautiful creature, this new created creature. It's an Ace. It also comes with the Empress, yeah, which is all about growth, fertility, abundance, new beginnings. It's about nurturing of the self and it's about that allowing us, that then giving us the freedom in another area of our life. It's about victory over a circumstance in our life. And after that, it then becomes love, yeah. It's asking us to come at a situation with love yeah to pull back possibly and then to see how it may feel like once we pull back from a situation that it's gonna all fall apart but we're balancing it with the 10 of um fire there and it's just asking us to just balance our anger yeah and then we see this change this could be after the moon we start to see these changes now we start to see this opening up of the energy now we're starting to witness love yeah this is the energy of love it's six as well and the three of cups which also states love at the top this is about a celebration in love this is about a victory this is about a coming together of energies as well it's about a small victory small celebrations yeah we also have muses or discontent so this is saying to look at this month yeah to look at around this moon time what is causing you discontent because right now that is becoming one of your muses that is becoming something where you know or what is what it's like the discontent is challenging you and that is causing you to go and seek out what you really want what you really desire perhaps yeah it's causing you to become uncomfortable yeah it's causing you to um let go of certain situations that are no longer your muse and are no longer call it causing you contempt causing any kind of contentment so you have to let them go with the queen of air so i really do hope this has helped take care stay blessed thanks for all your likes shares and your subscribes